Hello, hello, hello. It's your girl, Leslie. Um, I know I look a little different. I am very well doing good. And um, I just decided to... Um, my hair had grown in very nicely after um, chemo and radiation. Um, but I started wearing... Um, weave and my scalp is always very itchy and I would scratch and scratch and so some of my hair um here in the middle had broken off and so I just decided decided to cut, chop it all down and start over fresh so that's why I had the new fresh you know haircut it's growing back in now but um just didn't want to alarm you and have you think that something else was going on now? I am in great health and doing awesome. Um, but I did want to talk about life after breast cancer, life after um, treatment. Um, life after treatment can be very, very good. I am enjoying life to the fullest and actually I feel like my normal self. Um, again, I had stage three invasive ductal carcinoma. Um, it had, um, I had lymph node involvement and my cancer was estrogen and progesterone positive, so hormone positive and hers to negative. Um, I went through eight rounds of chemo, so four rounds of what they call Red Devil um, chemo, and then four rounds of Taxol. I did start to experience um, some neuropathy in my feet and in my hands towards the last two sessions of chemo. Um, those have been basically completely rectified. I no longer have neuropathy in my hands at all. And every once in a while, I feel a little um, tingling in my toes. But other than that, um, life after cancer and chemo, as far as neuropathy for me, is completely gone. Um, I was supposed to be taking a hormone blocker. I was on letrozole and letrozole was very, very painful for my joints and my bones. Um, I would get up to stand and have to, you know, wait a few minutes or a few seconds before I could actually move. Like the joint pain, pain was real. Um, and so I am a very um, spiritual and faith-based person. Um, I am filled with the Holy Ghost and I am baptized in Jesus' name. And I had an encounter with God um, with regard to the medication. And so after some time, um, I just decided to rely on my faith and what God was telling me, and so six to eight months in taking the letrozole, I opted to stop taking it. Um, so today it's been about three and a half years since I've taken the letrozole, and I am in, I have no joint pain, um, and I am doing absolutely um, fine. So, um, Life after treatment, life after cancer um, is great for me. Um, I am very active in my church. Uh, my husband is a pastor. I am a first lady of my church, so I am very active. I lead praise and worship in my church. I am the Sunday school teacher for our youth at church. I am also a missionary in my church, so I am um, over the women's department at our church. Um, I do a lot of activities. I have full um, energy, full strength. Um, I lack nothing. Um, I have had someone ask me, um, knowing what I know now, would I still have 
um, opted for the treatment that I went through? And my answer is still yes. I still would have done um, everything that I did. I still would have went through chemo. Um, I still would have had surgery. I still would have done radiation. Um, in fact, after I did chemo first, and so before I had surgery, and so um, just from the chemo after um, I completed chemo and went to surgery, the cancer was all gone. It was not even in my lymph nodes any longer. So I had four lymph nodes removed and there was no cancer in those lymph nodes. Um, If you hear some crying in the background, I forgot to mention I also own a daycare center. Um, so yeah, I am very busy, um, and I do not have a lack of energy or anything. So life after cancer is great. Cancer does not define me. Cancer has not taken over my entire life. My life is completely and totally back to normal. Um, I go to doctors to my oncologist every six months um, for a checkup. Um, And outside of that, um, everything is normal. Everything is normal. I did develop um, diabetes after going through the